Hi, this is Mark Bonner from MacGenie.dk. I found this tutorial by Aaron Crumley, and uh, it's a very, a very good tutorial. But I just wanted to say I found some other ways of doing the same thing. I want to make a video for Instagram, and uh, I already have a video. It's uh, it's a hundred, 1080p, and uh, this is the settings I chose. It's the H264. I chose the multipass. I chose the quality. Uh, to full and um, then I chose the this is actually on the default setting frame rate in Denmark and Europe is 25 so I chose that uh, it's not because it's supposed to be shown on TV but you can just leave it empty uh, and I turned on cropping the, how you get into this is the MPEG stream clip movie exporter so I put on cropping and I put in 420 by 420 on the left and the right one. And you can uh, turn on the preview. Before you do that, just click off the multi-pass and you can choose preview and uh, it'll load pretty fast. You can see there's no dark corners on the left as it were in the original. If I just remove these, you can see the difference. Preview, this is the original one. And it won't have dark corners on this one, but it will have on the next photo. So. That's what I'm gonna change. So that's why I put in 420 and 420. And I just put on multipass again and I create make movie. And I can just save this into my Dropbox. Cropped. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. My name is Mark Barner from MacGenie.dk. Remember to subscribe to my channel and you'll see some Danish and some English videos and you can choose yourself what you wanna watch. Also, this method of doing it is probably not as correct as Aaron's way of doing it but since I want my video to be higher quality then this is the way I want to do it. I'm gonna also save it to my Dropbox and then later save it from my Dropbox app on my phone into my camera roll and publish it that way to Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.